What's up trainers, I am the Pokemon Trainer and today we are going to explore Route 12. We are finally leaving Saffron City and it feels good to be leaving. I can't wait till we get to Route 12. Now that we liberated Saffron City from Team Rocket's mad scheme, we could use a holiday. So I thought Route 12 would be the perfect spot, which is south of Lavender Town. So grab your old rod and set to drown a few worms. You might want to pack the Poke Flute too. You won't be able to avoid any Pokemon duels completely on this trip, but things will be far less hectic. <sighs> Yikes, this place gives me the creeps. Welcome to Route 12. Let's see if we can find some items before heading in. Nope, looks all clear. Alright, let's make our way into the building. Let's go downstairs. Oh, let's see what this girl has to say. My Pokemon's ashes are stored in Pokemon Tower. You can have this TM. I don't need it anymore. Ash received TM39. TM39 is swift. If you do not need it, you could sell it for a thousand dollars. But that is how you get the TM Swift. Alright, there's nothing over here. No items. Ah, our first trainer. Yeah! I got a bite here! What are you trying to say? I'm a fish, bro? You weren't even looking at the water. I'm a catch? Alright, well, Goldeen, meet my boy Growlithe. Actually, meet Pikachu. Alright, enemy Goldeen used Supersonic. Alright, let's go for some Thunder action. Oh, we heard ourselves in confusion. So, here on. Route 12, you can find some Pidgey, Pidgeotto, Oddish, Gloom, Bellsprout, Weeping Bell, Slowpoke, Slowbro, and Farfetch. If you plan on doing some fishing, you could find Horsey and Seedra. Those are all the Pokemon you can find if you're playing Pokemon Yellow. Alright, so we get a quick attack. Goldeen's going for Supersonic, but it failed. We are confused no more. Alright, Goldeen is out of here. Goldeen is out of here. Bring on our next opponent. Pikachu gained 258 XP. Alright, we got two more Pokemon. Looks like Poliwag is up next. Alright, let's go for Thunderbolt. Yes, one hit KO. I love seeing one hit KOs. Alrighty, Pikachu gained 363 XP. We got one more Pokemon, and it's another Goldeen. Alright, Fisherman sent out Goldeen. Pikachu used Thunderbolt. Yes, one hit KO. It's super effective. Enemy Goldeen fainted. 522 XP. Just a small fry. Who you calling a small fry, bruh? Alright, so that item over there we cannot get to until we enter the Safari Zone, which will be coming up in a couple of episodes. That item is iron. We will be back, and I will show you guys on screen that us picking up that item. So, no worries. Alright, a tentacle at level 24. Growlithe is not the best choice in this situation, so we will be switching out. We do not want to be extinguished. Alright. So that is enough, buddy. We're going to have Pikachu electrocute him. Alrighty. We go for a Thunderbolt. Just like that, ladies and gentlemen, that's how it's done. 
one hit KO. We are flying through these battles and I love it. Alright, 267 XP. Alright, another Goldeen. So, we're gonna use Thunderbolt again. Yes! Super effective, alrighty. We gained some experience, I love it. Fisherman, that one got away. Alright, let's go on to the next trainer, shall we? The Fishing Fool versus Pokemon Kid. Alright. Let's do it. One Pokemon, huh? This should be easy. Alright, and it's a Goldeen. We're gonna have to keep sending in our buddy Pikachu. I'm leaving Growlithe first because every time I switch him out, he gains some XP. I want him to get to level 50 because that's when we're gonna evolve him. Alright, so it was just a t Tail Whip and our defense fell, but you know what? The trainer is not smart enough to go ahead and attack us. Pikachu's HP is very low, so he could have done some damage, possibly taking us out. But nope, he went with the Tail Whip, and it's good for us because we gained some experience and we're still going through this, no problem. Too much? Alright. I'd rather be working. Alright, four Pokemon. Fisherman sent out Poliwag. Alright, we gotta keep switching. Let's go for our buddy Pikachu. Because it seems on Route 12, there's only water Pokemon. So luckily, we got a perfect starter for this route. All right, Pikachu fell asleep. Oh, not looking good. And this is way before I got the Poke Flute. You'll see after this battle, I edited it out, and that's when I went and got the Poke Flute. Because after this battle, we are going to encounter a special Pokemon. My girlfriend's favorite, Snorlax. All right, so we are right, just getting demolished right now it's not looking good yes thunderbolt okay yes Poliwag is out of here Growlithe gained a boosted 256 XP Pikachu 171 alright we're gonna have to battle a shelter now I don't think it should be too much of a problem Alright, Thunderbolt, I love it. Yes, it's super effective. Enemy Shelter fainted. Pikachu gained 436 XP. Alright, a Goldeen is coming in. Alright, we use Thunderbolt. It's super effective. Enemy Goldeen fainted. We got 499 XP. We are on the last Pokemon, which is a horsey. Alright. Let's Thunderbolt this and end this battle, Pikachu. Let's get to the Snorlax. Alrighty, critical hit. It's super effective. Enemy Horsey fainted. 373 XP. It's not easy. All right. So yeah, as you see, the guy moved because I edited it. I feel, felt like I wanted to make the video shorter. I didn't want you guys to watch me walk all the way back to the Pokemon Center in Lavender Town. But let's bring out our Poke Flute. Now, I didn't even catch a Snorlax because I already caught one in Pokemon Blue. But if you want to catch it, just feel free to pause the video. And when you catch it, We'll continue with the walkthrough. 
Snorlax woke up. It attacked in a grumpy rage. Alrighty. We are back. We are looking for some revives. I did um, try to catch it, but um, to no avail, I did not catch it. So I didn't want my failure to be on screen. <laughs> Electricity is my specialty. Rocket wants to fight. Oh, Rocker wants to fight, sorry. I was like, he didn't look like a rocket. Alrighty, we are going to use Ember. Voltorb. Enemy Voltorbs protected against a special attacks. Let's heat this mutated Pokeball. Melt it. Way to hang in there, Growlithe. Way to hang in there, buddy. Growlithe gained a boosted 958 XP. 48, yes, two more levels. We will have an Arcanine. So stoked. All right. So we are going to use our buddy Zitz. Because it's... Well, I don't know if that was a good idea. We are a water type. He could just use a thunder attack and we are history. I don't know what I was thinking. I always get confused because, like, I guess Zitz is a water and fighting type. But I don't know. It seems like when I'm up against water Pokemon... I remember that you need to use Pikachu, which is a Thunder, but then when I'm up against Thunder Pokemon, or Electric Pokemon, I just, I don't know, I, it's reversed for me or something. I need to get better about that, but anyways, we beat it nonetheless, so level 42 is what we're at, unplugged, 725, yeah, that's a lot of money, baby. All right, I'm the fishing guru's brother. I simply love fishing. Do you like to fish? Grand, I like your style. Take this and fish, young one. Ash received a super rod. Fishing is a way of life. From the seas to rivers, go out and land the big one. All right, thank you. Alrighty, it looks like we have just two more trainers left on Route 12. Let's get to them. We gotta cut down this tree to get to the first one. All right, Scyther, cut! All righty. You never know what you could catch. All right. Well, let's see what you've caught then. Two Pokemon, okay. A Magikarp at level 24? Doesn't Magikarp evolve at level 20? Hmm. Interesting choice, my friend. Unless you caught him at that level, but that's crazy if you did. Just choosing not to evolve. It's like, I want to be the best all of, for all the Magikarp out there. <laughs> Alrighty, we took out that Magikarp nonetheless. Pikachu gained 51 XP. Yeah, buddy. All right, we have one more Magikarp. So you caught two Magikarp. And this one's also at level 24. Ah, seems like it falls at level 20. I was right. Interesting. Enemy Magikarp fainted. We got 102 XP and we are at level 42. That's right. Ash defeated Fisherman. Lost it. Alrighty, thank you for the money, bro. Ash found iron. 
All right, the tree seemed to pop back up. We gotta cut it down again. On to the last trainer for this route. Have you found a moonstone? Yes, I have. I found a quite a lot, actually. Junior trainer wants to fight. All right, he's got a Nidoran. Uh oh, so that means it looks like the group of trainers are gonna be changing their Pokemon here. No more water types. Nidoran is out of here. Way to go, Growlithe. Growlithe gained a boosted 558 XP. All right, another Nidorino. All right, so it seems like he is a fan of Nidoking. He's a or the male Nidorans. He doesn't have a female Nidoran or Nidorino. Alright, so Emba! Ooh! I was just about to celebrate victory, but that Nidorino hung in there with one slither of health. And it's out of here, ladies and gentlemen. That's gonna wrap up the episode. I hope you all enjoyed. If you are new, this is episode 35. So if you haven't, definitely go check out episodes 1 through 34. I want to say thank you for watching, and if you're a new viewer, please quick attack that like button and that notification bell. Leave a comment down below, and I'll see you in my next one. And until next time, trainers, keep on training.